that would lead us to ask some questions about the nature of the jinn like are they like us do they have um, gender males and females that doesn't exist in the angels but in the case of the jinn do they reproduce do they get married do they eat do they drink uh, do they die uh, were they given the taklif the free choice like the human beings are they going to undergo their word and punishment, accountability and reckoning on the day of judgment? These are very important and valid questions. So the Jannah kind are like human beings in many things and they differ from the human beings in many other things. For instance, they have the genders, the males and females, men and women, and they get married and they reproduce and they commit adultery and they like human beings exactly, they eat, they drink. In Surah Al-Jinn, remember why I said a person who denies the presence of the jinn isn't Muslim? There is in the Quran multiple mentions of the jinn and there is an entire surah from beginning to end. It's called Surah Al-Jinn. And in this surah, the jinn, they speak and they introduce themselves. They say, وَأَنَّهُ كَانَ رِجَالٌ مِّنَ الْإِنسِ يَعُوذُونَ بِرِجَالٍ مِّنَ الْجِنِّ فَزَادُوهُمْ رَهَقًا and number six, the reality before Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was sent, the Arab, whenever traveling across the desert, if they fear the jinn, if they enter any valley, they think that it is inhabited by the jinn. So in order to gain security, they would say, we seek refuge in the masters of this valley. The jinn will be very delighted and they say, look, the human beings, Adam's children, they seek help with us against us. It only increases the human beings in burden. This is my right hand, by the way. You know, I could have neglected drinking the tea, but my wife made it. And you know what happens if you don't drink a tea that your wife made it? You will be in trouble. In addition to the fact that it's good. Very good, mashallah. Very good tea. Another proof that they have the gender, human beings, uh, like human beings. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whenever you enter Al Khala, in the past, they used not to go to bathrooms. They didn't have bathrooms. So they go to the open areas, Khala. And those open areas, date palm trees and desert, were mainly inhabited by the jinn. And that's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us this beautiful dua to say, أعوذ بك من الخبث والخبائث. Oh Allah, I seek refuge with you against al khubth wal khabaith. My beloved viewers, I know you all know this dua, but how many of us explain to their children why do we recite this supplication? That would be lovely. Saffron tea, mashallah. What is the meaning of al khubth al khabaith? And how many of your kids said, Ma, Dad, why do we say, A'udhu bika min al khubth al khabaith? You say, jinn kind. So why don't you say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al jinn? Or a'udhu bil amna shaytan rajim, and that's it. In fact, al khubth wal khabaith refer to the male and the female jinn kind. When you enter the bathroom and you take off your clothes, to answer the call of nature, you're exposed to those who live in these dirty places of the jinn. Uh, men and women, males and females of the jinn. So that's why I seek refuge against them. What is the purpose of creating the jinn? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala among his names, Al-Hakim, he doesn't do anything but for a wise reason. So what is the hikmah? In Surah al the Almighty Allah says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Having created both the jinn kind and the human kind, but to worship me. Obviously, all the creatures do, but the only two species, the only creation of Allah, was given the free choice. Oh my God, again, wallahi, this is my right hand, this is my right hand, and this is my left hand. What shall I do? Here. You see this? It's written backward, right? You see this? You will see it backward. 
I hope that is sufficient. I don't have to go through this again. Every time I'll take the medication, you can read it backward. Okay? I hope that is enough. We're going to spend plenty of time today explaining. I'm going to tell my wife not to fix me tea anymore while giving a live show. Okay, what a waste of time. Alhamdulillah. You know what? Let me finish this all at once. So this way I will make everybody happy. I will make my wife happy. And those who see that I'm drinking with my left hand, I will make them happy. But not drinking. <clears throat> you know, brothers and sisters, uh, in addition to explaining many times, this is a mirror image and this is a front camera and all of that. It shows the diversity in the understanding of the audience. Well, like some of the audience, maybe once they write to you, Sheikh, I love you so much. My, you're my mentor. You're my role model. And when he sees you drinking where he thinks that you're drinking with the left hand, he skins you off. Wallahi, you will see some people, shame on you, saying, shame on you. You're teaching us and you're drinking with the left hand. What if I was left-handed already? What if I can hold the cup? I actually was treated for a while because I couldn't use my right hand for several months, subhanAllah. What if give people the benefit of doubt for God's sake? Okay, give them an excuse. You should think good of people, husn of dhanni, not just the sheikh. All people, think good of them. Barakallahu feekum. Okay? So I'm going to tell my wife, honey, don't make me tea anymore. I'll drink two cups after the show, inshallah. النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيد وكان النبي يبعث إلى قومه وبعثت إلى الإنس والجن. That's a clear message. That the Prophet وسلم, said, I have been sent to both the human beings and the jinn kind. And Surah Al Jinn, as well as some ayat in Surah Al Ahqaf, explain that while the Prophet وسلم, was traveling and at night when he started praying and reciting Quran, a group of the jinn gathered. They were floating and they were browsing, they were traveling. So they heard the beautiful recitation and said, has he been sent? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they came down. And this is when they started listening to the Quran and dispatch of the jinn, they all accepted faith and they went to their people to give them da'wah. Surah Al-Jinn says so and Surah Al-Ahqaf. And they shared with us that they recognize that Muhammad has been sent and the Quran has been revealed because what they used to do before of overhearing and the only sky, the writing of the angels, whenever they take the annual commandment of Allah, the decree, they can't do it anymore. Because now there are armors, shooting stars awaiting them. Whoever would dare to come close to overhear or to spy, a star, a shooting star will uh, uh, shoot him down and will uh, uh, chase him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the jinn spoke about themselves in ayah number 15 of Surah Al-Jinn. It says, وَأَمَّا الْقَاسِطُونَ فَكَانُوا لِجَهَنَّمَ حَطَبًا Which means when they said, وَأَنَّا مِنَّ الْمُسْلِمُونَ وَمِنَّ الْقَاسِطُونَ Some of us are believers and some of us are none. For the non-believers of the jinn, they said, they will be the fire logs of hellfire. That's understood, like human beings exactly whenever they uh, disbelieve. Also in Surah Ar-Rahman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Surah Ar-Rahman, وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ And for whomever fears the standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and acts accordingly, Allah will reward them with two gardens in Al-Jannah. You know that many times in Surah Ar-Rahman, Allah said, especially if you listen to it by Shaykh Qari Abdul Basit, it is very fascinating. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ So which of the favors and the blessings of your Lord, both of you, the jinn kind and the human beings, deny? So the Prophet ﷺ has been reciting the surah and they said, you know what, your brothers, 
of the jinn were better than you in respect of responding to this ayah? This is a question Allah is asking. Do you deny any of the blessings of your Lord? So they replied saying, وَلَا بِأَيِّمْ مِنْ آلَائِكَ رَبَّنَا نُكَذِّبْ فَلَكَ الْحَمْدُ We do not deny nor dismiss any of your favors. Our Lord, so praise be to you.